Hello and welcome back to The Daily Eco. In today's video, we'll discuss the most common pests and diseases that affect lemon trees, as well as how to effectively treat and prevent them. So, let's get started. Citrus Leaf Miner the citrus leaf miner is a small moth that lays its eggs on the leaves of citrus trees. The larvae hatch from the eggs and burrow into the leaves, feeding on the mesophyll, that is, the layer of tissue between the upper and lower epidermis. This feeding damage causes the leaves to develop serpentine mines, which are visible as pale winding lines on the leaf surface. Aphids Aphids are small, sucking insects that can be a serious pest of citrus trees. They are typically green in color and less than 5 mm in size. Aphid feeding can damage citrus trees in a number of ways. First, they can reduce the tree's vigor and growth. Second, they can produce a sticky substance called honeydew, which can attract other pests such as ants and sooty mold. Third, aphids can transmit viruses to citrus trees. Red spider mite the red spider mite is a tiny arachnid that is a common pest of citrus trees. It is only about 0.5 mm in size, but it is easy to identify by its bright red color and the fine web that it spins. Red spider mites feed on the sap of citrus trees, which can damage the leaves and reduce fruit production. They are most active during the summer months because they prefer hot and dry conditions. To combat leaf miner insects, red spiders and aphids, the easiest method is to apply neem oil to the affected areas, gradually eradicating the pests. Citrus mealybug These soft-body insects are typically covered with a whitish, waxy secretion and they congregate in groups on the stems and undersides of leaves. Citrus millibugs can damage citrus trees by sucking their sap, which can reduce the tree's vigor and growth and lead to leaf drop and fruit deformation. To combat them, mix one part water with one part rubbing alcohol and a teaspoon of dish soap in a spray bottle and spray the affected areas. Be sure to repeat the application every few days until the pests are gone. But before we continue, let us put you to the test. How tall can a lemon tree grow? 2 meters, 4 meters, 6 meters. Think about it carefully because at the end of the video you can check if you were right. Alternaria alternata. This fungus causes alternaria leaf spot, a common disease of lemon trees. It occurs when watering is excessive and humidity is high. The leaves wrinkle and yellow, then turn brown and wither, and finally they end up falling as the tree weakens. Exocortis Exocortis is a disease caused by a viroid that affects lemon trees. It causes vertical cracks and scales to appear on the bark, as well as dwarfism in young shoots and yellow spots. Once a tree is infected, it cannot be cured and must be removed to prevent the disease from spreading to other trees. Citrus Tristessa virus Citrus Tristessa virus, also known as CTV, is a highly contagious disease that can kill lemon trees in a few weeks. It is spread by aphids and can cause a wide range of symptoms, including stunting, yellowing leaves and premature flowering. There is no cure for CTV, so affected trees must also be removed to prevent the disease from spreading to others. 
Penicillium. Penicillium is a type of mold caused by the fungus Penicillium italicum. It is commonly found on the peel of fallen fruits and appears as white spots with green centers. To treat penicillin mold, you can use fungicides that contain copper. Phytophora root rot Phytophora root rot is a fungal disease that attacks the roots of trees, causing them to rot. These can reduce the tree's vigor and lead to gomases on the trunk and branches. Proper drainage and management practice are essential for prevention. In severe cases, fungicides specifically designed to control this disease may be necessary. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought it through? The correct answer is C. Lemon trees can reach 6 meters in height in their natural state. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Until next time.